podcast looks good. I think the new lights are here and it looks good. Let me give myself another tap. Ooh. A little crispy there. A little crispy. Love it. Let's see where everybody is. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Who's first tonight? Well, I'll hey, you're the first per. I came on late tonight because I was dealing with my uh with my lights, and I said, well, Brahesh was late last night, so I might be hitting Brahesh right at the perfect time of the night. So I must have hit you at perfect timing. What's up? What's up, Aaron Ellis? What's up, Alpha? What's up? What's up, Canchola? What's up? Chase. Chase who? Oh, <laughs> Chase Claypool. I was like, Chase, Chase is not on my list. You're right. I, I need to, before I start, <laughs> number one tight end is Chase Claypool. There you go. He might even cover two two uh, things: a tight end and uh, and uh, wide receiver. What's up, L four G? Hello, Tiara. What up, Daniel? Fuck, Donnie. What's up, Christy? Hi, Christy. Christy. Yes, this is a uh, um, Shiraz. I'm drinking a Shiraz today. Oh, you're trying to get a wrench. You don't have to try L4G. Let me see if I can do it now. Hold on. Talk about trying to get a wrench. What are you talking about? Let's see. I hit this thing right here. I hit this thing right here. Add moderator. Bam. Say something again, L4G. Say something again. Watch that wrench come. No, no, we, we don't need straight. Hey, mama, ma, <laughs> my mama just popped. I'm not drinking, my mother. We're chilling. There you go, L4G. There you go. Straight up mod. You got to be mean, though. You got to kick people out. <laughs> Why not get the LSU tight end? Which one is the LSU tight end? From uh Which one is which which was it which one's the LSU tight end? <laughs> Mom uh Christy says hi. Oh, Moss. Yeah. Is he coming out? Hold on. He is coming out. I didn't even put... <laughs> you love kick control. I didn't even put that on my list, but yes. Yes. Yes, I'm all in for Randy Moss, kid. Even though that's, that was the worst day of my life when we, we didn't uh, draft his daddy. Wanted his daddy on the Cowboys so bad. No, he's pretty... I mean, he made some real... Impressive catches during the uh, during the playoffs. He really did. Yes, yes, Daniel. I think I think Jarwin's going to be more than all right as a starter. And I was just I was just thinking. I was like, it would be bad. It's it, we won't be able to draft a stud tight end because there's no stud tight ends in this draft. So we're good on that. But I said it would be bad if we if if we would bring in another tight end and this is a year just to see what Jarwin has and we would give somebody else his snaps. What happened to him last year with Jason Witten? Last year was supposed to be Jarwin's year to shine, and what Jason Witten came back and uh and and took his snaps away. <laughs> L four G you funny. That was the worst day ever, and I think I, I think I'm, we're, I was thinking about that, Christy. I was doing, some, I was, I was going to do some draft stories, 
and uh, moving up to a draft if we if I run out of things to talk about with this draft. And that was one of my worst draft stories right there. One of the worst days ever. I was in a I was in the fetal position all day long. It was big, guys. I mean, that could have been. I mean, just imagine if the Cowboys had Randy Moss and Michael Irvin at the same time with Troy and stuff throwing the ball to him. It's crazy. This is this time of night is perfect for you. I might push it to like, because I've been I've been coming on every night like seven thirty, but I might push it to like eight. What well, my time? Seven thirty my time. I might push it to like eight. Yeah, I might do that. Cause I need to. Uh, I usually help get the kids in bed, and when I help get kids in the bed, I can come in here and I can look at the players and I can calm down for a minute and then then go live. So it might it might be this late, Brish. That guy, yes, John. What, what's up, John Sparks? John Sparks says the guy went and screwed over is Dalton Schultz. Yep, Dalton Schultz went into uh, into oblivion. I didn't, Paul. Paul, I didn't pay much attention to uh, the XFL. I really didn't, uh, and 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 I I was going to, but then you know everything everything stopped. <laughs> We uh, Keith Paris said we need another tight end only if he's six foot eight and weighs four hundred and forty four pounds and can run forty yard dash in three point five seconds. Well, well, what what I want Dallas Goddard? I don't know L four G. He's not. I hadn't seen anything that was straight up impressive by him so far. So I don't know. You got tickets for the Hall of Game Fame game? Good stuff. What up, Big Wayne? Yeah, now the XFL is out of business. Are they out of business? Out of business now? Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember that. that. That's that's another draft story, but it, it it's only a real good draft story. Um, John Sparks, if Goddard really does something, you know, and becomes a stud for Philadelphia, and we need a tight end, all that kind of stuff. So I don't think it's I don't think it's panning out to that. But I remember they 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 straight up trolled us, knowing we were going to pick a tight end. They jump up and get Dallas Goddard, cowboy fan, with his name Dallas. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, it 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 either be postponed or uh there's not going to be fans at the Hall of Fame game. Where I'm almost sure of that. Jalen Rager ran between a 422 and a 428. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm telling you, Rager, okay, Rager is the thicker one. You know what I'm saying? Rugs Ruggs is smaller and doesn't drop the ball and faster. So there's good stuff there that you that you love. But Jalen Rager is big er, bigger and fast. So whoo. Ugh. But there's no, the thing about Rager, you know what? Rager is gonna be he I think Rager's gonna be probably in the the bottom half of the first round, if not like made himself in the top 20. What what do I think of uh, drafting Dale Pick? I don't know, man, John Spar. It's just that uh, they're really free safeties, both, and Dale Pitt is special, too, so I would really want Dale Pitt. But then, you know, and then somebody said Haha is only on a one year uh one year um contract. So put one of them as a slot safety. We can run three safeties. But we do need a we do need a physical safety. We do need a box safety. That's what we do need. You know, and and, and neither Haha or 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 Del Pitt will uh work in the box in the box. Oh man, the XFL is done and has no class for 2021. 
Well, I wouldn't mess with it either right now. I wouldn't mess with anything right now. That's sad, man. That's sad. And I feel that, you know, because of, because of what Hollywood did. Hollywood is shut down. I mean, all the shows, everything that was working in Hollywood is completely shut down. And when it starts back up, everything's going to be different. So who knows who has a job, who doesn't have a job and all that kind of stuff. It, it man, it ain't, it ain't cool. What's up, Mike? Mike, go. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. Uh, Chris Danza says he's intrigued to see what the the Bell Dozer will do. He played behind Travis Kelsey in, in Kansas City. He's a blocker. Uh, Alpha Mason says trade down from 17 to late 20s, grab an early second round pick, and draft Jalen Rager. I like that. It's I, I would just I would just hate to trade down and somebody gets them. You know what I'm saying? And in Philadelphia, we trade down and then Philadelphia jumps over us because Philadelphia. Philadelphia would love to have Philadelphia knows what their team was with Deshaun Jackson sp spreading the field and Deshaun Jackson being that deep shot for Carson Wentz. If we allow them to have that deep shot with Jalen Rager or Ruggs, I doubt they'll get Ruggs. But if we have allow them to have that deep shot again, it's going to be ugly. So we got to make sure that they get another slower, you know, uh, Shoot, they can even have Denzel. I know some of you got guys got guys like Denzel Mims. Like he can, they can have Denzel Mims, Jefferson, whatever. But not Rugs <laughs> and not Rager. Uh, I I don't think it's going to be cool everywhere by the end. Uh, I hate. That, and that's what we're looking at. You know, uh, probably California would be fine. Uh, a lot of the mid uh, Midwest will be fine, but the New York teams and things like that. So it'll be a um, it'll be an unfair thing. So I think they just keep. I, I just don't see that many fans going to preseason games. Like I, I've already uh, xed out myself going to training camp because I doubt very seriously they're going to allow fans at training camp. Maybe I'll try to get a, a pass as as media. To see if I can go there as media and, and do social distancing or whatever. But I just I just think when everything opens back up, it's gonna open back up with a caveat. Like a lot of time a lot of ways we're not gonna be invited back to things where it's, where it's a lot of crowds. Uh, we're gonna have to still do social distancing by staying apart from each other and things of that sort. So it's still gonna be until this thing is completely gone, it's still gonna be little annoying things like that. All right, let me go back a while. Y'all, y'all, y'all are killing me. The, uh, L4G says the real question is: Do they start the season on time this year, or do we be having season? I imagine fans will be there. I, I you know, like I, I said, L4G, I go back and forth and back and forth. Right now, I think I'm on the positive side, and I think I'm going to stay on the pos positive side for for a while, simply because I live in Cal I can't. I live in California, and it's and we've done a great job social distance, distancing. We're shutting down everything. When I went out there today, I had to go out there today. Me and my wife did. Everybody had a uh, mask on. And then by Friday, uh, it's uh, uh, today or next Friday. In, in, in the coming days, we're not going to be able to walk in grocery stores and stuff like that without masks on and things of that, things of that sort. So they shutting things down in California. We're going to be okay. But New York, I don't think so. They say in Philadelphia might just have a out, out um, get an outbreak soon. You know, other parts of the country and things of that sort. So we, I just don't know until everything is 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 gone. That's when we'll have regular football again. Wow. Okay, saying Shango Zach Hodge says, okay, Shango, I got a plan. We trade back with the Vikings. I like it for pick number twenty-three. Gra uh, draft Grant Delpit. Love Delpit. We trade back in the first draft, draft Rager, and the uh, the Packers did it last year. Got two firsts. And y'all yeah, know I like that. Now, there's we don't like Philadelphia has a lot of picks again or whatever. And if we can do that, that would be a, a nice a nice steal to get a, above them, and we get a a nice defensive piece and a nice offensive piece that we need. Yeah, I like it. Two studs. 
I will, Christy, I will more than cry if there's no NFL season, but I, I doubt it. I think they're going to, that's too much money involved. It's too much, yeah, it's, it's too much going on. Uh, L4G says, I'm ready to see how McCarthy coaches the team. <coughs> it's still hard to believe the carrot is gone. Yeah, it's like, it's for me, it's not, I don't still believe the carrot is gone. It's like, I don't know what we're doing now. And it's a good feeling. It's like, I don't know. I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, our offense, we run those wide receiver screens and things like that. But I really don't know what we're running. I really don't know what we're doing. And I like that. It's not, this is not Jason Garrett's team anymore. Uh, John, I like trading down to get another second round. There are plenty of cornerbacks and receivers in the draft and offensive tackles and defensive tackles. So if you trade down, you better, if you trade down to like the third round or whatever, get another third round or whatever, that's golden because that could be another starter. Justin Jefferson is a perfect fit. You saw me just throw Justin Jefferson to the, uh, to the Eagles. Those LSU guys. Yes, Roger S, man. We need a tight end. We do, but I do like draw one. What's up, Ready Red? George is hot already. It's I, man, I can't wait for it to get hot here. I mean, this is California. This this weather is raining out there now again. It's not in my contract. It really isn't. No, it's not Hennessy. It's uh, Shiraz. I didn't see it, John Sparks. I didn't see Alden Smith on TV, but I heard about it. I'm ready to see him in action because he's a monster. All this Smith's a monster, monster, a real monster. There's April. There's no tight ends early. I mean, the um, the first tight end may go late in the second round. So there's no there's no chance of getting a tight end early. If they, if we get a tight end early, everybody's gonna uh, everybody's gonna melt down. <laughs> Peter King says the NFL looking into a 12 or 14 game season, just uh, cutting non-division games first. Makes sense. You know, the, the games that don't really mean anything when, you, when it comes down to it, those division games do. That makes sense. Eggman had no good shit. Yep, 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 yep. We need a tight end. Daddy is Moss. Everybody like, what's up, your boy? I'm chilling. Everybody likes some Thaddeus Moss. Everybody likes some Thaddeus Moss. <laughs> Dez is going to throw the X up again. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? What's up, Cal Cullen? We need a better scheme. I know. I just don't know what scheme we're running. This is awesome. You know, I, we're going to look a little bit like the same, but I'm very interested in how we're going to look because we have Kellen Moore. But now it's going to, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. I hope we get to play the season. How many games do you think we win this season? How many games do we think we play this season? If we're having a 12 or 14 game season, we'll win eight, nine. <laughs> You're concerned about Jarwin as far as being healthy the whole season? That's why I said we need a second one. We do. We need another, another tight end. We need three, but we need another one that is almost as good as Jarwin. Jarwin was awesome last year. No, I don't drink much at all, um, big win. What's 20 grand? Yeah, Alden Smith has God-given pass rushing skills. He uh, he's he's unbelievable. I I don't know. We're just taking a shot on Alden Smith. I mean, it worked on McLean. I mean, that's the only person I can I, I can liken that to because McLean was a monster too, and then disappeared and came back and became a monster again. <laughs> Bring back Rico. Alden Smith is a natural talent. Yeah, he does. You like Blake Bell, tight end we saw from Kansas City, could be under the radar. Yeah, I heard a lot. I heard about him too. We'll see. I hadn't looked into him yet, though. I like the uh, fact that other teams might not have film on how we're going to play. Yeah, yeah. No, Logan, you're absolutely right. We can sneak under. We'll, and trust me, if we have a... 12 to 14 game season that will work in our favor very well because t 
teams won't get, have that much information on us throughout the season. So we'll get a head start. Like we can roll six and seven wins before they get any information on what we're what we're doing. So no, um, a short season works for us. I am a Chase Claypool fan too. Three M two legacy. Modify West Coast offense. Yeah. Uh, Cal Cullen says he's pretty excited for the defensive line. Seems like in the past, our interior line just wasn't getting it done. It wasn't with Poe and McCoy. I'm excited. Me too, Cal, but we need one more piece. In my opinion, we need a first, second, or third rounder in this draft to, to put right there in the middle of that defense to be the heir apparent to McCoy because McCoy is old and Poe, Poe is barely a starter, to be honest. Poe is a, a good, going to be a good rotational guy for us for a minute or whatever. But the but we're going to need another stud to take over for McCoy when McCoy is gone. So I, I love it too, but they need one more piece. One more piece. We need to just draft Pronto, I know. Hold on for a minute. Hold on, let me tell my uh, my family to be quiet. Guys, everybody, everybody said hi. <laughs> Raekwon Davis, yeah, I really like Raekwon Davis 3M2. And not just because he got a woo name. I mean, you'll get me with a woo name. Just have a woo name and I'm, 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 I'm there. Should we bring back Tavon, er, Ernie? No. <laughs> no. No, um, Andres uh, Aguilera, I'm not worried about LV. I, I heard, there was good word came out about L, LV, LV and his progress. So I think LVE is okay. And even if we have a shortened season this year, it would be good for LVE. Uh, your boy, I want Pollard in, uh, <laughs> in the slot. Exactly, Porta Stella, Porta Stella weather. More excited for the linebackers behind the re revamped defensive line. And Porta, that's why I want one of those Javon Kinlaw. That's why I want one of those big nasty boys in the draft. Even a Raekwon Davis. Even, even you can get him in the third round or something like that. Third or maybe fourth, probably third. But uh, a big boy you can put in there to just suck blocks up to to free up our linebackers. Still need a third receiver for multiple reasons. For the obvious reasons, you need someone to place Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb had, what, 800-something yards uh, receiving. You need somebody to uh, take over that. Secondly, uh, Gallup is going to be looking for another contract soon. So you're going to need another wide receiver just in case Gallup has a better season than Amari Cooper does again. And uh, Gallup asked for the same amount of money as Amari Cooper. And you just can't do that. Either we'll have to let Amari Cooper go because somebody said we can let Amari Cooper go after two years. We'll let Amari Cooper go and have Gallup and a new guy. Or we'll let Gar uh, Gallup follow the money and have Amari Cooper and a new guy. But we cannot trust a new rookie guy as a starting wide receiver. And behind Michael Gallup, we have nothing. We have a number one receiver and we have a number two wide receiver. I don't understand why people don't see a need a, a, a definite need for wide receiver when we only have two, two. Sorry. <laughs> it's true, though. Why didn't we lock up Robert Quinn and we traded him? We'll be fine without Quinn, uh, Jesus. He just had a great year last year. How many true Cowboys are left on this team? I don't know. My thoughts on Denzel Mims from Baby. I gotta look him back, look up, uh, look him up again, dear boy. I, I didn't, I didn't think a lot of Mims when I first saw him, but there's a lot of people in this chat that really <laughs> love Denzel Mims. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another look at Denzel. A woo name. I love the woo names. <laughs> Skywalker. 
I went to Winthrop University. I, I, upon leaving Winthrop University, I named it the Woo. I'm a Woo fan. Uh, Zach Hodge, I love Jalen Rager. I do too. Duke could turn into the us uh, into the Chiefs. Yeah, I, do, I I believe so. Him or Rugs, those are the two I want. The, the two speed guys I want. Uh, I think Randy Gregory is playing. <laughs> it's up to Randy Gregory. If Rand, like I said it before, uh, Can Canchola, if Randy Gregory can survive this quarantine without getting high, then he's good. <laughs> he's good. If you can take the boredom of this quarantine without lighting it up, then you're good. Thanks, Andres. Appreciate it, man. I don't like Jake from Kyle Cullen, but I love Jalen Hurts. And simply, simply the reason why Kyle, and I think I've said it over and over and over and over, I'm the type of dude that likes the backup quarterback to be similar to the quarterback. I don't like the backup quarterback being something different than the quarterback because that never makes sense to me. You got a quarterback that likes to run and, 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 and throw short passes and things like that. He gets hurt and you get a guy backing him up that can't run, that can only throw deep and things of that sort. And it doesn't make sense because you got to change your offense. If you get a quarterback like Jalen Hurts that does everything that Dak does, almost, almost the same height as Dak and everything like that, can do what Dak does but runs a little bit better or whatever, maybe not pass this as good but run a little bit better, but basically the same skill set and you can run the same offense and do the same thing if you lose Dak, that's what I always wanted, man. <sighs> but yeah, I like Jalen Hurts. The cap's going up. Yeah, but what do you want to do that, the lunatic? Do you want to pay that much money to your wide receivers? Or do you want to use that money for, to go get a, 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 a pass rusher? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Roger saying all the venture. I mean, you know, and I love those guys. I I, I was doing backflips with John Vea. I love Sid. And and Sid, I, I just can't this this is Cedric Wilson's third year. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah, it's just like I, I, I wish and I hope for the best for all those guys behind uh Gallup and Amari Cooper, but I'm telling you, we don't have a receiver after Gallup and Amari Cooper. Dream draft. Get back a second pick, second round for Christian Fulton, uh, Jeff Gladney. I like Gladney and Michael Pittman. Ugh, Pittman's monster. I'm gonna check Mim Skywalker still. I check him out. I'm not still high on Cedric Wilson's. I'm I'm a little bit dampered on Cedric now because he had he had a chance last year. They have to read, Wendy. What up, JJ? Suspensions for weed. Suspensions for weed should have been gone. Uh, and they, they they just really have to re, re revamp those um, those rules on 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 weed. Because, like I said, you know, living in California and living in South Carolina, North Carolina, with the Carolina Panthers, that's that they're that, those are night and day. If you're in California. And you are you're in a car with your cousin, and they get, they get stopped by the police, and the car, and and the uh, and there's weed in the car or whatever. It's gonna be like a twenty five dollar fine. It's gonna be it's it's absolutely nothing. Um, that it will not make the news, and you will not get in any kind of trouble whatsoever with the league. It happens in South Carolina. You have a little roach in your car. <laughs> This is so true. You have a little roach in your car. You run into the wrong cop. You going to jail for that roach you got right just from you riding in the car with somebody. And not only that, your name is going to be all over the TV, all over the news because you got arrested for having weed in your car and it was just a little roach. And then Roger Goodell has to come and put the hammer down because you did what? You showed, uh, you brought negative press to the league, and that's why how you get uh, get fined. So you have to, you have to. In these areas, it's just two different areas. I mean, living in California is totally different than living in South Carolina when, when it comes to marijuana. So they have to know that. Paying whiteouts never pay off. Now paying paying two definitely doesn't pay off. Good will, good bill, honey. Thanks, Quest Cowboys. 
Yeah, uh, John Vea, he 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 knows that I've big time. What's up, New Jack? Gladney is more suited for a team that plays zone. And Cowboys are going to play a lot of man this year. I can I don't know about Devin Smith. I hope. I'm not excited me either because what happened with he flamed out too. And we don't know why he didn't get on the field. Uh, yeah, Tony Pollard is our wide receiver three. I, I, I agree, Canchola. We just need to get another wide receiver to go with him so we have four wide outs. Sleeping. I know Devin Smith slept on us last year, Eric Guerrero. Devin, <laughs> Devin Smith slept on us. He slept on us for week after week after week. And we're like, where's Devin Smith? Where's Devin Smith? Never showed up. Why? Who knows? And Des can be the second tight end. What up, Adrian? That is Moss. Everybody wants the, 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 the baby Moss. I ain't even went through my names yet. Let me go. I'm ready to, to get out of here, and I ain't even said my names yet. Do you think the Raiders are going to run into player issues being in Vegas? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Vegas is not a place for young millionaires with a whole bunch of testosterone. Vegas is not the place for that. <laughs> Vegas is not the place for that. I, I think I was a, a pretty, pretty level-headed kid, kind of, whatever. There's no way I would have made it. There's no way. A millionaire in Vegas at 24, single. <laughs> Good luck, Raiders. <laughs> Good luck. I hope Jordan uh, Lewis has more opportunities. Me too. Yeah, I, Noah is even worse, Tiara. Noah, I even forgot. Uh, we were sitting in, at practice, and somebody was like, who's number 85? Because he hadn't been in practice forever. He was like, who's number 85? And I was like, I don't know. Who's number 80? And somebody said, that's Noah. <laughs> he was like, oh, good. Great. Now, that's bad when you, like, disappear from my brains. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug, Tierra. <laughs> yeah, Rams office screwed them. So, man, and not only they they are in, in cap hell for like two seasons. I think they have like thirty three mil in dead cap money. Not very realistic. We can get CD Lamb, Adrian. Uh, Jalen Rager, or possibly Riggs. If Riggs fall, I doubt Riggs falls. But Jalen Rager has probably moved up to where around 20 if, they, if, if he ran a 4 2 2. Last year's drive was not an impactful draft. <laughs> I know it was, it was excruciating because we didn't have that first Logan, and then that second pick, pick was Tristan Hill that nobody liked. Cam, I don't want Cam here, Jeffrey Brown. I'll take Jameis as a backup, but I don't. I don't want Cam. It'd be good for Jameis because Jameis just Jameis just need to. There's no jobs for Jameis right now. It is what it is. So he's got to let people like because you know Jameis is better than Drew Locke. Okay, I'm not a Jameis fan, but come on, <laughs> come on. He's got to let players like um, uh, that flame out and get another opportunity next year. He'll sit on our bench or somebody's bench and get an opportunity next year because there's just not many opportunities out there. Everybody has their quarterback or somebody they think they're their quarterbacks. You just got to allow these people to fail and go, okay, we need to go get a quarterback and then that's when Jameis is going to get. I don't know what's going to happen with Cam. I kind of see the Patriots, but for some, something tells me that the Patriots want to uh, want to uh, tank so they can get uh, my boy out of Clemson, Trevor Lawrence. Do you agree first rounds must be defense, corner, or edge rusher? Uh, John Sparks, if one is there. I, 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 that's why I said when I went over the corners, I don't want to jump for a corner. 
I don't want to get a corner that I don't want to get a second round corner at 17 is what I'm trying to say. John Sparks. I don't want to get a corner that is uh, expected to go like in the late twenties, you know, at 17. I don't want to reach for a corner just because, oh my God, we need a corner. And edge rush is the same way. There's really only one that's chasing. If chasing is gone, you know, I don't want to reach for an edge rusher just because we need an edge rusher in the corner or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I want to get a valuable player at number 17. I want to get a, a, a comparable player to that number. And I, and, and I don't, especially edge rushers, I don't see it. Corners, maybe if C.J. Henderson falls right there, but I think C.J. Henderson going to be gone. Donovan Wilson, love it. Del Pitt, free agent, we'll have two free safeties. <laughs> They're up some. Let me let me go refill my glass, and I'm gonna go with my line, uh, uh, my tight ends, and I'll be right back. Hold on. I can't believe my kids. I can't believe my kids are still up. This is crazy. What am I drinking? It's called Flocking Fabulous. Flocking Fabulous. That's what it's called. My wife is doing a. Uh, she's doing a live Instagram show. Every, what's the night? Tonight is Friday night. Every Friday night, she's doing a live Instagram show. And, and they're watching, like, different episodes of Shameless. And one of her viewers sent us some wine so they can get a plug. Uh, because they're, they're small businesses, a small business. So they wanted a plug on her Instagram. Or, you, you know, if a, she knows she's got a million followers. <laughs> so they wanted a plug on her Instagram. So they gave us free wine for the plug. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Delutitic. <laughs> wireless. I had to go. I had to go. This is why I had to go wireless, Delutitic. I had to do it because I was in the um, the uh, garage in my last man cave. It was really the garage, and it was just so echoey and all that kind of stuff. I had to put had to put you right here. I would trade back. Yeah, John Sparks. No, I don't think we need Edelman. Are we still the only team with a football? Kind of. <laughs> Book round, should we draft a new, uh, new owner? Good one, Kyle. Yeah, McKinney. McKinney, I would take it 17 because he's, he's valued at around between 20, 21, somewhere around there. So him at 17, I'll take because we really do need a box safety. We really need him and uh, what he does. So that would be pretty. De good Bill Hunting, Derek Brown all the way. <laughs> that Cal Cullen, that's what I was talking about, about the extra piece we need in our defensive line to go along with, with, with Poe is, is Derek Brown because he's for sure going to be an all-pro taking over from where, um, where uh, Jared McCoy left off. Is there a consensus number one tight end? I think it's going to be a Chase Claypool. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hunter Bryant. But let me go through my go, let me go through my names. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah, it's, uh, John Sparks. It's gonna be one of the best. It's gonna be the most interesting interesting draft ever. But it might be one of the best drafts ever, or the worst with uh, with screw ups. But I've already got one drinking game that we're gonna take a drink <laughs> every time there's a technical difficulty in the draft. How about that? Yeah, uh, I don't care about his combine. That's good if he had a bad combine, but because he had he had a good game versus Alabama, and I'll take a I'll take a good game versus Alabama in front of a good combine any day. You know what I'm saying? There would be so many accusations of hacking. You got to be smart. 
Oh yeah, dear boy. I'm we're I'm I I have I I am in week four of preparation for my draft stream. So yes, I am getting prepared for prepared for the greatest draft stream that Shango has ever done. <laughs> Tiara, Goodell still getting booed. <laughs> you just take the shots anyway. We're gonna have to deal with Chase Young for a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And this 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 draft is full of uh, left tackles. All right, tight ends. Let's go with them. My number one tight end, Chase Claypool. Give me Chase Claypool, please. All right, got that out the way. All right, Shango's draft board is coming, the lunatic. It's coming. I've been working on it. I have I have my draft board. I have it all done in graphics, and I have top fives from each position all done in my graphics. So they're coming. Okay, uh, number one tight tight end is well, number two tight end after Chase Claypool is uh, <laughs> is Hunter Bryant of Washington. Um, he's pretty fast. Uh, he's six two, two thirty nine. That I, that that I do not like. With Hunter Bryant, he's he's fast. He's yak, yak, yak. Uh, not only is he yak, he's like a he's like a thick dude that like runs through people on on on, on his uh, on his catches, and I like that. And it, that's a definite fit on somebody that can do stuff like that. He runs good routes and all that kind of stuff. I just don't like a six foot two tight end in today's NFL. <laughs> I do not like. It's over. It's over, Tiara. It's over. I do. I do not like a six two, two tight end. So that's he's gonna be tough for me. After him, we got Notre Dame's guy Cole Commit. I guess that's how, how you say his name. Uh, six foot six, two fifty eight. Uh, I like, but the best thing you can that I I heard them say about him that he's a nice chain mover. He's just your prototypical good tight end, nothing special, but he'll get the job done. And I don't, I, you know, maybe, but, you know, I'm looking for something more exciting than that. Now, let's go to the next one from the Dayton Flyers. I think this guy, his name is Adam Trotman. Trotman. Now, he runs good routes. He's six foot six. I love six foot six, 253 pounds. He doesn't drop the ball that much. He's not that fast, but he has potential to be very good. He has all the tools to be very good. So watch out for that guy with the Dayton Flyers. And then uh, Bryson Hopkins. I think that's, uh, I, forget, I forgot who Bryson plays for. But he's 6'5", 245. And that dude is fast, super fast, super fast, 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 fast. Probably the fastest tight end in the draft. Uh, doesn't block, but still, that's something that we can use a, a, a speedy tight end and whatnot. And the last person, I'll take a drink on him. The last person that I think we're going to get, remember this name, Cheyenne O'Grady. Does anybody know who that is? Cheyenne O'Grady. He's a tight end from Arkansas, 6'4", 256 pounds. Very good. Very good. Would have been one of the top um, tight ends in this draft, but he was dismissed from the team. Uh, he said, wait a minute, he said, this is the reason why he was dismissed. Uh, he, the coach said, we both mutually agree that what's best for CJ and what's best for the football program is for him to step away for these final three games and help him perform and prepare for what's next in life. We're here to help him out with that. And then O'Grady came back. And they asked him at the, at the combine. And he said, what Coach Morris came out and said wasn't all that all the way true. It wasn't a mutual agreement. O'Grady said at the podium, podium, I was actually dismissed from the team. I decided to, very immature part of me, after the Alabama game, kind of told the coaches, I don't really want to come. My body's sore. Just lame excuses. Immature. I like to call it the old CJ. I've moved past that. So that's the reason why. I mean, he made a stupid childish decision. It's not like he was hooked on drugs or was like has a pension to fight or and you know crazy stuff like that. 
So I, it, being from Arkansas and him having the skills like he has a tight end and knowing Jerry like I know him, <laughs> he lost me. He said he was very uh, uh, immature. We're all, come on, D Lunatic. You, well, how are you at 20? You know what I'm saying? How are you at 20? If, if that's the worst thing I did at 20, then it's good. McKinney and uh, Antoine Welfare. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be good. We don't need a tight end. I think we kind of do. I, well, it depends on what Schultz is, why not? But I'm telling you why not. I've been pushing, I've been telling, I've been trying to explain to everybody why we need a wide receiver in this, in, in this draft. You know, I've heard too many people, we don't need a wide receiver. We got two. We got two. We got two. <laughs> Peyton Manning was not immature at 20, Cal Cullen. Uh, Peyton Manning was a grown man at 12. What's up, Doozer? All right, guys, what are we doing tomorrow night? Let's do two positions tomorrow night. Let's do linebackers and running backs because we don't really have to, I don't really have to go through many of those two positions because I don't think we need much out of those positions. I want a running back. I want a thug running back. I want a, a, a Hilaire from LSU. I want a little strong dude to go uh, with with um, Zeke and have Pollard being our third down back and our slot receiver. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, man. Ex especially uh, why not? When I was at when I was at training camp last year, I was like, "Good gracious, man! This is the this is the best receiving squad I've seen us have in a long time, from top to bottom." Because back in the old days, you would see Dez. And then it was then it was a huge drop off to uh, Terrence Williams and and uh, and Cole Beasley, and then it was just like a severe drop off after that. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, this wide receiving core, the first three were good, good. You know what I'm saying? And then Tavon, he 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 uh, tailed off, but he was making plays like crazy in uh, in training camp or whatever. But now we don't have. None of that stuff except for, for, for Gallup and Amari Cooper. And that's not good, especially when Amari Cooper is injury prone. Don't forget about that. I was forgetting about I didn't even bring that. I, look, I brought up the replacement for Cobb. I brought up the fact that, that Gallup is going to be wanting a contract next year. And we need to get another wide receiver in to at least have an option to let, let Gallup go or anything like that. But I didn't even add the fact that Amari Cooper gets hurt and can't play in fourth quarters of games sometimes. And we're going to need somebody better than Cedric Wilson to put out there to try to make a touchdown. <laughs> Don't talk about T-Wheel, T-R. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. But hey, T-R, you have to say he did blow one game for us a year. He did do that. How I got two what, Azar? It's Ken, Adrian says, Kid and Murray are nothing. Don't even try. <laughs> Terrence with Mr. Body Couch. Gotcha. In defense of O'Grady, he was playing for Chad Morris. I mean, basically, he called Chad Mo Morris a liar there, just big win. Yeah, we need a we need a wide receiver, wide receiver. Exactly. Ramadola, I'd rather keep Tavar. What's up, King James? I, I'm telling you, Rhaegar. Look, look, why not? Rhaegar at 17. I, I'm not. I'm not going to be mad at it. Really, I wouldn't. We need draft alignment, yeah. I know exactly, Tiara. I was thinking that too. What's gonna happen to Jalen Ramsey? He cried to get out of out of uh, uh, Jacksonville. Now he went to the Rams, and 
I'm sorry, the Rams, uh, they're going to be third in that division at best. I don't think we're going center, Kyle Cullen. I did center last night. Hold on. Uh, there's just not... There's two centers. There's Cesar, Cesar Ruiz, and he's young and versatile. You know what I'm saying? He can play inside, outside with, with center. He can play guard or whatever. So he's a good pick, but he's like third rounder maybe. Then you got my boy, the uh, Wisconsin Badger, Mr. Tyler Badass. Mr. Tyler Badass. I love that guy. <laughs> but those are really the only two centers. I did not cave uh, King James. I did this myself. And you know what I did? I did a little temple. I just did a temple fade because I was scared to go any further. So I just started with a temple fade. And I'm going to work on this a little bit more. I'm going to start trying to... Uh, perfect the temple fade and then I'll work on going in the back of my head or whatever but hey that, this is all me man this is all me am I worried about the Redskins defense oh my god uh, that J boy I, I have been telling people about the Redskins defense for years now especially the two defensive tackles they got putting Chase Young with those guys, with Preston, and then... You'll see what I mean by you You don't really need top-notch secondary because whoever the Redskins put in their secondary is going to be pretty nice. It just depends on what they can get from their offense. And I, I, I just don't think the Redskins got anything at quarterback. Haskins, I don't believe in. And then the other guy from Carolina, come on, please. Come to Cowboys, Ramsey. <laughs> He's just he hadn't had hair in ten years, so you're not even stressing through this uh through this uh, quarantine. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. Tomorrow night, what did I say? I'm doing linebackers and running backs. If I don't get both of them, it's just going to be linebackers. But I think I can get in linebacker. Yeah, the same owner. But you know what, Big Win? I thought very poorly of the of the of the uh skins coaching staff last year really, really did thank you thank you thank you Dwayne. no i don't think no i saw josh no man exactly exactly that ga points it's gonna be they're gonna they're gonna rough you up the the redskins go, are gonna rough you up they're going to come after your quarterback. They're going to do a lot of stuff to you, but it's going to be hard for, for, for them to score on you. Exactly. Thanks, April. Sign, sign Sprinkle. And those, the lunatic said, and those people worried about Tyron Smith's back, that would be me. Um, we just moved C. Will to left tackle. No, lunatic. <laughs> McGovern to left guard, Looney to center, and we can win it for no the, the Lunatic, we have there is at least 19 tackles in this draft that's probably better than Connor Williams at tackle. There's probably like 19. So we don't have to jump and get one in the first round. If one falls to us in the first round, we can do it. But we ain't gotta jump and get one in the fourth first round. We can get one in the fourth round that'll probably be better than Connor Williams. Just saying. All right, guys, I will holler at you tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Tell him, King James. Tell him, Connor will be a turnstile at left tackle. Tell him why not. <laughs> Connor Williams at left tackle. Why don't you just shoot Dak Prescott in the head? Why don't you just kill him now? <laughs> All right, guys. 